Environment Cabinet Secretary Kiriako Tobiko says the repossession of illegally acquired land inside the Ngong Forest will continue as planned. Tobiko faulted former Natural Resources Minister Francis Lotodo, who served in the Moy administration, for aiding in the illegal excisions of part of the forest. But as Zainab Ismail reports, the CS says the government will respect the court orders that have temporarily stopped him from demolishing structures that have been built on the contested land. The fate of the residents of these estates nestled inside the Ngong Forest now lies with the courts as the government vows to reclaim the land it says was acquired fraudulently. Appearing before the National Assembly's Environment Committee, Environment Cabinet Secretary Kariako Tobiko says a lot of these illegal exitions happened during the tenure of the then powerful minister Francis Lotodo. You cannot, as a minister for forestry, declare forest or part of the forest as degazetted so that, for example, you can gift it away to your girlfriend or wife as a birthday. But the cabinet secretary has now asked the National Assembly Committee to mediate a renegotiation deal between the government and the dwellers of the affected estates. No private citizen that can allocate themselves title. It is a government institution that gives titles. We will not touch them for now. We will not um, fence them um, 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 in for now because it's a court order. Also to give time for this mediation process until we know what do we do? But as regards areas that have not been built up and that are undegazetted, we will proceed ourselves to, um, uh, to conserve and protect. During the proclamation of the Ngong Road Forest in April 30, 1932, the forest area was 7,231 acres. Various exertions over the years for public and private development have been done. By 1978, the remaining forest area was 3,283 acres, which means about 3,948 acres has been hived off illegally. Zainab Ismail, NTV.